Well, it's official. The Thunder have officially traded Josh Giddy away, and the team is the Chicago Bulls. And I'm sad Josh Giddy is gone, and he was one of my favorite players, if not my, well, he was my favorite player. So I'm sad about that, but honestly, I'm really, really happy. First off, I have to say, this is one of the few trades we've seen, like, this decade, maybe? The last 15 years? I, I have no idea, but... This is one of the few trades I've seen in my lifetime, honestly, where no picks were involved. It was just simple player for player. And the fact that we didn't have to give up a first round pick or a second round pick at that to give up Josh Giddy for Alex Caruso is absolutely insane. Now, first, I'm going to talk about Josh Giddy. His play over the this last season was not good. Now, in his rookie season, I think he made all rookie second team. He showed potential. He even became the youngest NBA player to average a triple-double. And then the second year, he had that sophomore jump. He, he bumped up his points per game by four. He bumped up his assists and rebounds. He didn't look too bad. I thought he could be a part of our, of our, of our future. But that obviously didn't happen because last season, with the rise of Jalen Williams and Shaq coming back, he was relegated to the fourth option and he just did not take that well. And also, with all the allegations and stuff, it was it was, it was not a good it was not a good year. And it sounded like if we kept Giddy, we would have had him as a role player, and he just wouldn't have liked that. Uh, that's I'm guessing that's something that he was never used to. So he wanted a trade and he got traded to Chicago. Now I, I think Giddy can go back to that 16.6 average a game and whatnot. I think he can go back to that, but he needs to go somewhere like Sacramento or Indiana where he can still be in a small market. He can still be like the second or third option and he won't have to be around OKC, which I'm sure has kind of traumatized him now being in OKC. But he should have stayed in a small market town where he can still be the second or third option. But being in Chicago, those Chicago fans are ruthless. Chicago is not going to give Giddy that. If anything, I think it can make him it can make him worse. Those those fans there are awful. Oklahoma is, is about as good as you're going to get. Not only that, but the Bulls are horrible at developing players. I mean, Laurie Marketing got traded away from there, and if you remember, like those last two seasons, he just wasn't doing good. And then he gets traded, and now he's an all-star player. Uh, Really, the only example I can think of where a good play, like a player has actually developed kind of well is Kobe White since 2017-2016. There's only been one guy who's developed good there. So, I think the potential for Giddy being an all-star there is horrible. And now you have to take in the fact that he might be the, still be the fourth option behind DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, Kobe White, and maybe even Nicole Fuchsia Fish. He might even be the fifth option, which is even worse than he was in OKC. This isn't going to go well for Giddy. Uh, the, the Bulls have made an awful, awful mistake. Like I said, he's shown flashes of potential where he was the youngest player to ever record a triple-double, and he had those few game stretches where he, he looked pretty good, but you got to take into account that Shea was out for those games, and J-Dub and Shet weren't there, or they just weren't as good. So, I mean, if again, if DeMar and Zach Levine and Fuchsia are still going to be there, Josh Giddy might be even worse, and... At most, Josh Giddy might give you 20 points a game if he's the number one or number two option. But if I were the Bulls, I'd, I'd trade him away for picks. And But even even then, his value isn't going to be high. What's most baffling about all this is that we didn't have to give up any picks for it. We have so many draft picks. We have 17. And obviously, we can't use 17 roster spots. We can trade those away. And the Bulls should have used that opportunity here. But they, they didn't. And that's... I, Man, this is baffling to me. Not only that, but Caruso should have been traded a long, long time ago. And you know, during the mid-season stage of the NBA season last, well, I guess this season, I don't, I don't really know. But Caruso should have been traded for some future picks, and in turn, they would have gotten a top 10 pick and a better draft spot from themselves. But instead, they traded away Caruso for one of the worst players in the NBA, honestly, and no draft picks. Um, Bulls fans, I'm so, so sorry. Um, if you want to switch your fandom, you absolutely can. If you want to join Caruso, come with us. We'll accept, we'll, we'll, we will gladly accept y'all. We'll welcome y'all into the family. And now it's time to talk about Alex Caruso, who I am going to love. And he signed with the Chicago Bulls in 2021. Before that, he was on the Lakers and he was really just a bench warmer. He was loved because LeBron called him to go and everyone just went along with it. 
But now Alex Caruso has become a respectable role player in the NBA. He's become one of the best defensive players in the league. He's a top 10 defender in the NBA. And in 2023, he finished, I think it was all defensive first team. Or it was this season, something like that. But uh, like I said, wow, that was really, do y'all hear that voice by voice mid or my voice box. I don't know. That was really weird. But anyway, Alex Crusoe, like I said, is one of the best defensive players in the NBA. He's also one of the toughest and hardest working players in the NBA on and off the court. And not only that, but he can shoot the three very well. So a great three and D guy. We needed that. We replaced some big holes Giddy was not able to fill. And like I said, we didn't have to give up any picks for him. So we traded Josh Giddy straight up for a three and D guy which we desperately needed. And this is going, this is a huge win for us. Now, I don't think Caruso is single-handedly going to win us the championship, but I sure do like Caruso a lot more than Giddy on my team. I, do, I like the odds a lot more with Giddy not on my team and Caruso on my team. And he fits very well with our squad. And this was probably without a doubt the best trade we were going to get for Josh Giddy. I wasn't expecting to get some all-star caliber player I wasn't expecting to get a role player with two unprotected first. This was probably the best trade we were going to get. That or like a two second round picks. I mean, that's probably what I'm guessing all the trades were on the table. Alex Caruso, welcome to the team. I'm so I'm so happy you're here. Uh, gladly. I mean, I, I have my arms open my net right now. Come give me a hug. You're a part of our family. My final note, my final uh, exiting... I don't know, but uh, this is my final thoughts. That, there we go. I'm going to miss Giddy. I had a lot of fun times with him. Uh, he still needs to unblock me on Twitter, but I have had a lot of fun times with Josh Giddy. A lot of fun moments. He was a part of, of those dark ages, and he was there for the come up. And I'm, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him a lot, but if we needed to win a championship, we needed to get rid of him. We needed to trade him away, and we got a championship role player caliber player uh i didn't really roll i didn't really say that right but we got a big piece we needed to win a championship so you know i'm gonna miss josh kitty but caruso uh, he won't single-handedly get us a championship but he will certainly help us so uh, that's it goodbye uh i'm always to josh kitty but welcome alex caruso